broth and noodle stir fry. Mmm, <laughs> that's amazing. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I feel like my voice does that same like, welcome to my channel every time I introduce you to the video. Don't know why I do that and I just realized I'm a little bit, a little bit zoomed in. I feel like you guys liked my meal prep video as well as my grocery haul video. So today's kind of been like a combination of both of them. I'm gonna be taking you through my grocery shop for my meal prep for this next week. Hi guys, just to clarify, this is a full day of eating 1900 calories. I kind of work this out later on in the video that it's a full day of eating. Um, there is a bit of a grocery haul, a bit of meal prep, but ultimately it is a full day of eating. 1900 calories. Anyway, back to the video. So I don't know if you guys have heard it before. This video itself is not sponsored, but I am using Equalation and they are sponsoring me over on Instagram. So I'm following their meal plan for the week. I like other people giving me like recipes or meal plans because I kind of get in a box with what I like and continue to have those things. And then I get sick of them. I'm excited to try these recipes. Super easy as well. I've like gone through the meal plan and use their like grocery thing in the app and I've made like a list of the groceries. If you follow me over on Instagram, you totally know what I'm talking about. This is the app and that's like all my groceries. So it puts it into like sections for me. There's like protein, breads and cereals, fruits and veggies. So then when I'm in the grocery store, it's super quick. And that's helpful when you have a 32 grown man with you telling you to hurry up because they hate grocery shopping, AKA Tim. <laughs> He's gonna be mad at me for putting that in, but he, honestly, there's something about guys not liking walking around the shops and girls loving it. I don't know what that's about, but I love just having a browse at different food items. Same with clothes and stuff like that, I guess. And Tim just wants to like get in, get out, which I do sometimes agree with because sometimes you have too much on in a day, but I don't know, I like taking my time. Anyway, let's go get him and let's go grocery shopping. <laughs> So Tim's decided to have a shower before we go grocery shopping. So I thought I'd show you some of the meals that we're gonna have that I was talking about. So that's the lemongrass and noodle stir fry. It's 443 cows for the whole thing. And it is 36 grams of protein. I got them to calculate like my total calories for each day. And I currently am on 1,900 calories cause I, I'm like at a desk job pretty much like my whole day. I'm on 160 grams of protein. 53 grams of fats and 196 grams of carbs and then trying to hit 29 grams of fiber as well. So just a tip, if you are calculating your macros and you're following a calorie deficit, just remember to get in your 30 grams of fiber a day because that is very, very, very important. So that's what I'm having. I'll also show you the chicken and bacon ranch pizza. Like that looks like Domino's or Pizza Hut, don't you think? Anyway, I'm super excited to have that for dinners as well. I'm obviously not going to meal prep the pizza or the smoothie really. The only thing that I'm gonna be meal prepping is the noodle dish. So I'll show you guys that. I'll let you know what's in it. I'll let you know the method so you can do that recipe at home. And then I'll kind of just give you an overview of what my food looks like for the day as well. So actually it's not really a meal prep video. It is a little bit, it's kind of a mixture of a bunch of different things. Basically just going through what I eat in a day, my current calories, my current macros, all of that stuff. And I'll show you my little grocery shop and the products that I'm buying as well. My desserts this week are gonna be super fun. I'm buying like these low-cal little sun... <laughs> Did you see Tim just run in there? I don't think... Yeah, uh, anyway, I'm buying like these little sundaes and a little packet of M&Ms and I'm going to make my um, own McFlurry situation. I do have a McFlurry recipe on my page actually, but it's using like a whole big tub of ice cream. And my self-control these days with ice cream is at an all-time low. So I find it easier to get the little single serve ones. And also this has like a caramel flavor in it as well. So it's like a spicy McFlurry, if you will. Anywho, Tim, are you ready yet? Hey Tim, mm. what is wrong with you? I don't even know, guys. I don't 
even know. So Tim has downloaded a fuel app because he refuses to pay $2 plus for fuel, which is fair enough. Like that is a crazy amount to pay for fuel. If you guys didn't see on my story the other day, iceberg lettuce was $5.50. Iceberg lettuce. We're off to the shops. Tim's finally off ready. Again. Had his little shower. Got his fresh white tea on. Beard's getting a little bit long. I prefer the beard to freshly shaven. What do you reckon? I don't think you've actually ever seen me freshly shaven. I have. Anyway, I will see you guys in the shops. Up and down the boulevard and shower. I saw a guy walking the opposite way on a travelator <laughs> and we were both very confused. <laughs> Oh my god. He's obsessed with Cheerios, which are these if you don't know. Footy Franks. These like, what are they called? <laughs> Cocktail Franks. And he'll just like rip them out of the bag and eat them cold. Yeah. I have been looking for these forever. I thought that they discontinued them, but they did not. How good. Tim's hidden talent is that he can split payments in his head with the click of a finger. Every single time we do a split payment, he gets it exactly right. I have to use a calculator and I'm an accountant. It's not for me to say. So Tim has come into the kitchen to assist because we're going to make four serves of the lemongrass chicken noodle stir fry because we're going to have it for lunches for the week. Um, I'm a little bit zoomed in here. So we're just timesing all the ingredients by five. So 125 grams of chicken breast. We're using that five taste stir fry sauce. is a bit terrible but I've got our package lunch for tomorrow and I only made four serves we've actually decided to eat one each today because it's lunch and I kind of really want to try it because it smells super yummy so we're gonna have that now and then yeah I'll continue the video later on I definitely will show you guys the chicken bacon and ranch pizza so stay tuned for that I just finished at the gym. Tim is off buying me a coffee, so whilst he's doing that, I'm going to shower and probably get myself ready. And then I'm gonna make my morning smoothie. It's the Equalation Choc Malt Protein Smoothie, and I'm so excited. I've never put malted milk into like a protein smoothie before. I have made a couple of tweaks, just because I don't like eating all of my calories in a smoothie. I took out the honey. I think it's gonna be sweet enough with the chocolate almond milk and everything that it has in it. And then also I've taken the strawberries out just because I don't have any frozen strawberries and I've subbed it with some frozen cauliflower. Here's a tip if you want minimal carbs, <laughs> what am I doing? But still getting some vitamins and stuff from veggies um, and some fiber and all of that jazz. Definitely add cauliflower to your smoothies because it thickens it up and you can't even taste it and it's lower in calories as well. So I'm gonna make that 
after I have a shower, waiting on him to bring my coffee. I think he's coming now, potentially. Anyway, I will show you guys what the final product looks like and I'll show you how to make it as well once I get into that. I'm pretty sure this video is turning more into a what I eat in a day as opposed to the initial meal prep grocery shop. Tim also made me a piece of avocado toast. Still going away. I'm back. Okay, taste test of the Equolution Choc Malt Protein drink, I guess, smoothie. That is so good. If you have not ever put malted milk into your chocolate smoothie, this is your sign. This is honestly delicious. Doesn't need any other sweeteners. And the chocolate swirl plant protein, you can taste it as well. Mmm. That's amazing. But I'm gonna run off to work because I did those little swaps and I took out like the honey and like the strawberries and just to make it like a full rounded breakfast. And I way prefer to have like a lower calorie smoothie and like some sort of food as well. I've got to run off to work. So it is dinner time and I'm making the chicken, bacon and ranch pizza. So I'm actually gonna use Mission Wraps as the bases for the pizzas tonight. Firstly, I'm gonna cook the bacon and then I'm gonna cook my chicken breast just so I don't have to use any additional oil. I'll just use like the fat from the bacon to cook the chicken breast. And then I'll show you me adding all my toppings on and all of that stuff and show you what I'm using. I'm pretty keen. I'm hoping these are gonna taste yummy. I actually haven't made a wrap pizza in a really, really long time. Let's try it. Tim is the official taste tester. Does it taste surfing? Oh, you want that one? Oh, mm. the cheese. I've just got maths going in the background of this video, but I'm about to devour this little McFlurry, is what I like to call it. It's like a caramel sundae with M&Ms in it, so I'm gonna eat that now. But yeah, this has been my meal prep slash grocery shop slash what I eat in a day. Really, what hasn't this video been? Mmm, so good. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. Make sure to let me know what you want to see next. I hope you're having a really good day, night, wherever you are, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!